Good morning, folks. It's Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. On Wednesday, November 1st, 2017, at 11.57 a.m. Mountain Time. If you're looking at the current condition of the sun, and if you've been following our videos, we've been in KP0 for days, kicking off lots of seismic activity and volcanic activity because of the cosmic ray flux. Now, the coronal hole stream is about to connect and hit Earth, and we're coming out of zero, and this will continue to go up as time progresses, and the uh, wind speed picks continues to rise here. Now, some of you are asking about a baseline for cosmic ray flux, so I want to do a quick video on cosmic rays, cosmic ray flux, and neutron monitors, and where you can go monitor it yourself live. So let's talk about cosmic rays real quick. What are they? They're energetic particles that originate in space and our sun. They come from two places that we know of, space and our sun. So get that clear. Galactic cosmic rays, we called them, come from space. We didn't know where they originated from. Now, some astrophysicists are saying they're originating from black holes or colliding neutron stars or other nonsense, but we do know they come from outside of the solar system. That being said, Galactic cosmic rays come from all directions in space. They originate. The origination of many of these is unknown. Uh, they come from deep, deep space sources, and they originally discovered because of the ionization they produce in our atmosphere. Now, we also know that they also cause cloud nucleation because of Svensmark, the work of Svensmark, and CERN. In the past, we have often referred to cosmic rays as galactic cosmic rays, or GCRs, because we did not know where they originated. Now scientists have determined that the sun's, sun discharges a significant amount of these high energy particles. So the sun produces its own cosmic rays called SCRs, solar cosmic rays, uh, during X-ray flux or CMEs, you know, sunspots ejecting matter at the Earth. Most solar cosmic ray events correlate relatively well with solar flares. However, they tend to be at a much lower energy than their galactic cousins. So it's the galactic cosmic rays that really influence our planet's climate. And that's, you can read more about these. But I want to show you how to look at them. So the University of Delaware Bartol Research Institute Neutron Monitor Program, I'll leave you links to this, has live monitoring all around the world with real-time 10-day panels. So if you want, these are the real-time cosmic ray uh, graphs and the detectors and if you hover over it it'll tell you where the detector is here type 18 tube latitude 60 north elevation it tells you where these monitors are so if you want to monitor the cosmic rays closest to you you can go find a monitor closest to you the closer you get to the poles the higher the cosmic ray flux during cosmic ray flux events now what do we know we know there was lots of seismic activity in the last two days because of the state of the KP is what I suggest. And we also know when the KP goes to zero, that galactic cosmic rays infiltrate to the surface of the planet. And we can prove it by coming to the real-time data. Look, this is the last two days. If we look at any of these graphs, October 30th and 31st, what happened? Galactic cosmic rays increase almost 3%. Here's the 3% scale. So they went up 3% during this event, causing all that seismic activity. See how it was flat? And then on the 30th, when KP went to zero, it started going up. Each time it went to zero, there was a pulse of cosmic rays. And you can go actually spend all the time you want, mark up these dates and times with the graphs over here with the KP and the times. You'll see a spike in cosmic rays, spike in cosmic rays which is exactly what we see on the real-time data, a spike in cosmic rays, a spike in cosmic rays. So that's how you monitor cosmic rays. I'll leave you links to the real-time data. Nothing seismically happening. We have a nice little 3.1 in Soda Springs. One of our subscribers mentioned there's lots of Hennessy, Oklahoma. Move out of there. The whole subsurface is polluted with radioactive waste from the fracking industry. You should be moving away from Oklahoma. Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments box. Real-time data for cosmic rays is available for all of you to monitor. 
and you can do your own homework and space watching, space weather news watching, make your own predictions on what's going to happen with seismic activity based on cosmic ray flux. Be safe.